Okay, so we're on my main, uh, well, my only region on DigiWorlds now. It's Arius. Uh, this is where I live and where uh, all my shops are and uh, building workshops, etc. Uh, this is my house. I'm. We're in the, as I record this, we're just sort of at the beginning of the coronavirus thing and I'm sort of. Uh, a bit housebound and I'm trying to, at the same time before this all happened I was starting to do a series of videos on uh, open sim versus uh, the sims 4 and just comparing the two concepts and uh, what each of them offer and I just uh, it occurred to me that I needed a bit more server space and uh, I again with the economy being a little bit funny at the moment I thought well I can't really afford to get any more server space to uh, for the purpose of making these videos so I've been uh, I was looking at um, dream grid and they do a an open sim installation uh, which um, looked quite good. It's uh, I've been watching. You know, I've tried different open sim installations over the years, and they've been a bit hit and miss. And uh, this one is also robust based that they're offering, which is basically a web based grid. So it's uh, it's it's hyper grid enabled, meaning that people from different worlds will be able to come into mine, which is pretty cool. Uh, which is what DigiWorlds is like. It's basically anyone can come and visit me uh, on my region. Uh, and that's what I want to emulate. So I thought I'd, uh, I'd basically, the process I need to do now is uh, set up DreamGrid on my hard drive, uh, get a copy of this region, which is my main island. I'll take you for a quick tour around it in a sec and then upload it, copy it to my um, new uh, platform on my hard drive. So I'll uh, we'll go for a quick wander here now. Um, I might just turn this into daytime as well to make things a bit more visible. Sun position, midday. Ooh, that's very bright, isn't it? Let's uh, sunrise. Delicate. Sunset. Oh, isn't that pretty? Righto. Actually, I love the sunset settings. Of, of, I use a, there's a thing called wind light where you're able to adjust the sky and the water. And I reckon this is just spectacular, this, uh, this wind light setting for sunset. Yes, that is a Australian Navy Collins class submarine running around the island there just protecting our shores. <laughs> There's also a fishing boat somewhere <laughs> that um, and they lo do look like they're about to collide sometimes but they just miss each other. Okay anyway this is my house below complete with solar panels. Uh, this house here is actually that's another real world person that's uh, a bloke called Ed from he's from the US he rents a parcel off me uh, this is my welcome center where people arrive in the base of that lighthouse. Uh, this is a navy base. This is a this is a palace, and I've um, you might have seen something similar to it on one of my other videos on my offline grid, and basically I've I've taken it from this grid as well. I've taken that copy and, and placed it there on my offline grid. But uh, I've actually got a royal family here and they're all NPCs. So basically these NPCs are just living their own life, which is kind of cool. Uh, so it's a bit like The Sims 4 in that regard. Uh, I've got a, down underneath here, I've got a series of shops under the palace, and uh, this is actually an adult club. It's a, uh, a gay adult club, and there's a dance club in there. Uh, a couple of offshore islands, they're really pretty. I've got my own wave systems set up here that I've built and scripted. Uh, and more shops on the left. We come out here into the little bit of... Uh, this is part of the problem. I don't have much space. This is the only parkland on this island. It's just crammed full of stuff. And this is 
uh, a standard region, so it's 256 meters wide by 256 meters wide. So it's a um, it's a very heavily developed area, and I've I've started building this one about 2017, so coming on to about three years on this particular sim. Uh, and I'll, pro I'll probably mention elsewhere in other videos, uh, when you hear me say sim, it's it has a different meaning. In, in open sim, a sim is a region. In The Sims 4, a sim is a, an avatar. So, uh, yeah, just forgive me if I keep using the word sim and it sounds out of context to you. Uh, again, there's my shops. There's my uh, Irimoto script factory. So that's where... I have all my scripts for sale and uh, a few freebie ones as well. Um, here's a couple of my NPCs. There's uh, old Paul there. He's the uh, public works officer. So he runs around the island uh, doing odd jobs and mowing lawns. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, here's my scripts. I really won't dwell in here long. I don't want to show off the island particularly. I just want to give you an idea of the sort of stuff I create. Vehicles, um, ah, fly. Probably, I've been in Sims 4 for a couple of, well, a couple of months now and I'm getting used to the controls in Open Sim again, it's a bit tricky. Okay, down here, this is uh, my fish farm. So under, uh, there's a pool here. let just take a moment for these textures to clear up. There we go. Okay, so yep, that's my fish farm where you can come and get sharks and fish and underwater volcanoes and other cool random stuff. Uh, men's clothing store on the left, ladies on the right. And we're back to my home. So okay, that's the, uh, that's the game plan. We're going to now go over and uh, set up, a, well, yeah, set up my dream grid installation and then we'll uh, get rid of my default avatar which you'll see in a minute you, you get this uh, when you set up a new open sim installation you get this m basic mound of land it's just a mound in the middle of an ocean and ruth the world's ugliest avatar um okay stay tuned see you in a moment Righto, so I've set up Dream Grid on my hard drive and we're logging in uh, using Firestorm Viewer like I always do with OpenSim. I did try to log in just a second ago and I got booted out so uh, we'll probably get a screen with some warnings, uh, some a, a DOS window with a few warnings. We'll just, oh there you go, we'll ignore that. Got a logout request. Well, I never actually logged in, so anyway. Here we go. Uh, and it's accepted. It's initializing the world, connecting to region. So we're getting in this time. Uh, as promised, there is our avatar, Ruth. And I can't say Ruth without adding the world's ugliest avatar. She hasn't been updated in OpenSim ever. Uh, I believe Second Life's made some changes to her, but uh, OpenSim, no, and that's fine because everyone gets rid of her straight away, so it's just the default. We'll give you an idea of what we're starting with. This is it. It's a little mound in an endless ocean, and that might look plain if you've come from something like The Sims 4, but what it means is that this world is without boundary, and you can build anything from here. This is the starting point. So we're going to get into that in the next video and uh, stay tuned.